Hi there and welcome to today's episode of Cinematography Tips for Video Lighting. I'm your host Tony Reale. Today we're going to be going over basic interview lighting styles and uh, we're going to be basically taking the living room, which is my living room right here, and we're going to turn around into uh, basically a good setup for doing interview lighting. Uh, if you look around, you can see that the, the living room is just a basic average living room. Um, and most people, when they look at the couch here, they would probably just try and set up the camera and, and let the person sit down and just point the camera wherever the background is. The problem is, uh, it's not a very interesting background. You could theoretically get a light, a spotlight, and throw a cookie on it, which would create a pattern and throw a nice background on there, and it would be usable, but it's not very interesting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna literally rearrange the furniture around and get a nice look. We're gonna experiment until we get a look that we're satisfied with. Uh, to do a nice interview. So realize that in most interview setups, uh, the background and everything is not how they come into the set. Or, or whether it's a house, whether it's an office, usually they arrange things so that you can get a really nice look. So we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. Okay, what, um, yeah, go, bring that, uh, bring that, that laptop tray and just put that in the kitchen for now. Uh, then we're going to take this, this section of the couch right here, this is going to put it right here. Yeah. And yeah, we're gonna put well a little bit of fire back. I want we need to remove this mm -hmm. coffee table. Okay. Probably just put in the entryway over here. And like all of this stuff. And I want at least I want at least a four foot, four or five foot gap between the back of the couch and that. Where do you want like all the footstools? And um, that won't be visible. You can just put it behind there, just in the bottom because. The and back the, of the chairs. Couch. Leave the chairs there for sure, now. We'll see if we like look at that. Yep. Okay, so we've got uh, the furniture moved around. We're gonna still figure out what the best angle is for this. But as you can see, we got it disconnected. Fortunately, this couch is actually able to be um, dis or pull apart like this. Uh, over here, we've got uh, most of the camera equipment already pulled out, and we're gonna start just setting up lights as we go and figure out what where the best lighting setup is. The thing to realize is, is lighting is an art form, not really a science. So you kind of figure out what you go. It's good to have a good arsenal of lights. Um, these are some good lights. I mean, you know, I'm not by any means done with what lights that I'm going to purchase over time, but this is just a good place to start. So let's go ahead and start setting up some lights. All right, now obviously you can tell we're working with daylight in the background. So it's very important that you have daylight bulbs to work with otherwise you're gonna get blue if you're working with tungsten bulbs you're gonna get blue through the windows um, and I like working with daylight it, for depending on the style of interview that you're working with sometimes you want a late night look sometimes you want a daylight look so we have right here these are cool lights um, and I'll put a link on the video where you can look at getting them they're very affordable this uses a mogul base CFL it's a compact fluorescent um, and it'll have actually where are these here we go this is going to be your egg crate and this just attaches to the light right here and now you've got soft and controlled light you have directional light but it's still soft because the nature of the bulb is very very soft um, the nice thing is you don't have to use a diffuser panel you can if you really need if you want to but you really don't have to because the lights are so soft and but you're still getting a nice directional light because you're working with these egg crates here um, and they are daylight they're 5600 kelvin lights uh, you can get the 3200 kelvin version but i like working with these because you're literally able to work with sunlight instead of working against it um, so we're going to get these set up and show you what it looks like all right now these lights back here i like the look of them but they are 3200 uh, K and since we're going to be working with 5600 K for everything else, uh, I'm going to try and gel them. See if this looks good. If this works, we're going to play around and see if we can get these gels. These are color temperature blue gels. Uh, you can get them for very cheap and just look on on eBay or anywhere for color temperature blue. Also CTB. The color temperature orange would be the alternate if you have 5600 lights and you need to turn them to tungsten. Uh, but basically, what this does is it just turns a 3200K light into a daylight white balance light. And this way, instead of looking extraordinarily orange, it's going to look, um, it's gonna look white when we balance to 5600. So we're gonna set this up and see how it looks. Go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna take a pick or two of it. All right, so we've got, I've got the, the composition the way that I like it right here. I've got Nick being our beautiful model. Wave, Nick. Okay, 
Anyways, um, I, the, the composition is good. I, I like the framing, I like everything here, but we haven't set up the lights yet. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit record on the camera just so you can see how it looks. Now, that this doesn't look bad by any means. It's just not an interview. This is more maybe like a film scene. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and use lighting to enhance it and uh, go ahead and get a good look out of it. Okay, we've got all the lights set up here. And let me go ahead and record and show you what we've got. Um, so far we got a nice look. I'm liking the backlighting. I'm liking uh, pretty much everything. We might tweak a few things. But let me go ahead and give you a uh, tour of all the lights. Um, right now we're using one of the fluorescent lights and we're bouncing off a piece of foam core here. Mainly because we've got a lot of big diffused lighting over here coming from uh, the window over here and it's just lots of nice bright diffused light so I want the foam core to act as more diffused light instead of uh, brighter light which we're going to get from the backlights over here. Um, and the backlights are giving a nice rim over them. I might tweak them around move them back a little bit because they're giving a little much too wrap around so I might bring them back a little bit. Um, the one issue that I'm running into here this corner is kind of getting a little dark so I think I'm going to bring in another light and gel it and just kind of throw a little splash against this chair just to give it a little more light. So we'll try that and come back. All right, I think we've gotten a great look right here. Let's go ahead and hit record and show you what we've got. Got a nice, nice looking interview, lots of soft light. Uh, lots of backlight, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very satisfied with the look for this. Uh, now, if you look around here, you can see we've kind of got lights in kind of odd positions, but I'm going to show you why that's necessary. We've got this light right here. This is a this is a 3200K uh, light. It's a 600 watt, but it's throwing just a little splash of light right here, so that this couch wasn't so or this chair wasn't so dark in the background. We have the lamp back here, which is gelled off. It's very dark when you look at it in person, but when you see on the camera, it doesn't blow out, so it's very nice. Uh, we've got lots of backlighting on him, and honestly, in my opinion, backlighting is a really quick and easy way to add uh, good production value to any video shoot. Uh, if you want good looking video, pay attention to lighting. If you want great looking video, pay attention to your backlighting, and you'll be able to get, uh, it's not always necessary, especially if you're doing a stylized film look, you may not want lots of backlight. Uh, but if you're doing interviews, backlighting quickly adds lots of production value and it just looks really nice. Uh, and we still have the light, light over here, which is reflecting off of the foam core, just to get a nice additional soft light to it. Um, yeah, I, I'm very satisfied with this. What we're going to do right now is we're just going to go ahead, I'm going to hit record on the camera. And just so you know, we're at uh, F4, ISO 800 at 1 16th of a second uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start shutting off lights so you can see what they do. We're gonna sh sh shut off the splash light that throws the light on the couch. Let's go ahead and kill the light that's back there and then I'm gonna kill this back, uh, one of the back lights over here and then we'll kill the back light on the opposite side Lastly, if I could have someone kill the back or the main key light over here. All right, now all we have there is just the light that's coming in through the window, which is it's not bad. And we were just kind of working with it; we weren't working against it. We could have blocked off that window, and we could have pretty much just limited ourselves to um, having to make all the artificial light. But because we had gels and because we had uh, lots of 5600K lights, we were able to work with the daylight and just basically enhance it. This became our main key light, which was your main motivator. So I wasn't trying to work against it. I was just trying to work with it. And then with having this window back here and having this light back here, I was able to use those as motivators for the backlights. So I like the look of it. Use this as examples. Don't use this as necessarily the end all be all that this is how every interview should look. But just an example how to get a good look from, especially this is a small environment. As you can see, we got lights kind of everywhere. 
this isn't really necessarily a studio setup, but we were able to keep it out of the shot and still get a really nice look for it. Uh, if you want to see more pictures from the shoot, you probably hear the clicking that's going on in the background. That's Sean, our photographer, and many other things. Uh, he's taking pictures, so we'll have that on our blog, which is nextwaveg.blogspot.com. Uh, we'll also have additional videos, some more tutorial tips, um, so you can check on our, our YouTube, you'll see links for that. And be sure to check out our website, creativeedgepro.com, where you can find out some more work and just other examples where we've used similar setups like this just to achieve really nice interview looks. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.